She poses as a teen online and online seduces what she believes to be another teen. Pictured here, this is the photo he used online. He's actually a 46-year-old Sunday school teacher, a father of two, and very much married. We are taking your calls. To Dr. Bethany Marshall, before I can unleash a lawyer, I think we need to shrink. Help me out, Bethany. <laughs> Well, the confusion between fantasy and reality reminds me of the teenage couple whose real life baby starved because they were building a virtual baby online. So they were more interested in fantasy than reality. That's one thought that this, these two um, posers were creating a fantasy in their mind that was more compelling than the reality of their everyday lives. And the other thing is it has a masturbatory quality and that they're very sexually charged and enlivened by whatever's an extension of their own fantasy, their own thoughts, their own images of themselves trying to relive their glory days, that first high, that first youthful sexual experience, and they are not bonded to anybody in their lives. And that's what we see with perversions, that the person is more connected to like a foot, a chain, a feather, a fetish, an image, words on a keyboard than they are to the reality of the people around them. I want to talk about the grown woman in this scenario. Eleanor Odom, back to you again. I, I agree with Sonia. It seems as if she has some responsibility in this. I, I think so, Nancy. I mean, it's almost like a party to a crime type of charge because she was the one who goaded. Oh, here's the picture uh, of the mom, Elle. <laughs> Take a look at your monitor. That's well, tall, think, hot blonde. I know. I think that Dr. Bethany tall, would have a lot. Blonde. Yes, Dr. Bethany would have a lot to say about that. Certainly, she has some kind of fantasy life. Well, wait, wait, uh, wait. Elle, and not only is she being tall, hot blonde, she's using pictures of her daughter. She actually sent this guy her daughter's underwear. And you know, Nancy, that's not technically a crime, which is it's just sick if you think about it. She had to go and physically get that underwear in order to send it away uh, to somebody she thought was a Marine. I mean, that is just sick behavior, not illegal, though. And that's what's scary about this type of crime. Let's see Odom and Clements, please. Peter Odom and Kirby Clements. Peter Odom, Kirby Clements. Yeah, well, she yeah, I, I, sent her daughter, Kirby. Before you're polluted by Peter Odom on this one, let me just try to reason with you. She goes and gets her teen daughter's underwear and mails it to this guy she thinks is a teen himself. Thoughts? Well, I, I do have to say that that is that just crazy what she just what she did. I, I will it's not tell legally you, crazy. No, not legally crazy, but I will I will she suggest that the, the pot, you and know, then and it we, boils we, over. And when we were prosecutors in, in Fulton County, Nancy, we all, often had cases where, you know, somebody got killed because someone else started. We used to call it starting stuff. And it, I agree with Eleanor. This woman I certainly never started. It well, well we, we, I didn't, we didn't use the word you stuff. You can call it starting else. stuff all you want to. I call <laughs> it mouse murder. Oh, no, it's murder. No, I, I would say that the, that, that man was probably driven to the caboodle. point. It should have been. It, it, his, his emotional state was such that it wouldn't be murder. I would suggest, if anything, if I were his lawyer, I would have, I would try to say it's manslaughter because of the fact that they tried to make this guy to be a pedophile. He's 46. The woman that he thought he was going after was a woman, an 18-year-old woman. But they made him think, they well, posted it that, online that, that he was I some mean, sort of we, pedophile. I mean, we learned that in first-year law school. That's mistake of fact. And on, in this case, it's like you think you're selling cocaine, but you're really turning a, selling a turnip. All right? I don't care what you meant to do. You didn't commit a crime. And here, he did not commit a crime no matter what he meant to do. He was not luring a teenager. 